So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Reboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So Anthony Joshua kicked off his um, build up for his next fight against um, mandatory challenger Kubat Pulev, Anthony Joshua is the unified heavyweight champion in the world and he will be facing IBF mandatory challenger um, Kubat Pulev at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff on October 28th. But anyway, a lot of people are saying that this fight is a walkover job, that Anthony Joshua should be fighting somebody better. At the end of the day, this is his mandatory challenger for one of his titles. And Kubat Pulev is not a bum. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's a bum, he's a bum. Like, what are you talking about? Like, have you ever seen this guy fight before? Like, you must have not seen this guy fight before. Yeah, he lost to Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, he was KO'd in that fight. But people go on like that's his only fight he's ever had in a professional boxing ring. But he had some good wins over the years. Um, Kubat Pulev, he's worked himself to get into the position where he is right now. And he's beat some good fighters like Alexander Jimachenko, Tony Thompson, Ustinov, um, Derek Chisora, Kevin Johnson. He's beat some good fighters over the years, Kubat Pulev. So a lot of people are saying... That he's a bum and stuff like that. I think that's wrong. Like, Anthony Joshua has the power to stop anyone in four or five rounds. So, if he did it to Kubat Pulev, yeah, cool, whatever. But Kubat Pulev is not a bum. Like, people saying that are just fucking ridiculous, in my opinion. But, yeah, he's not the most powerful guy in the heavyweight division, Kubat Pulev. But he is a very good boxer. He has a very, very good jab. Probably one of the best jabs in the heavyweight division. Like... He starts off very slow in fights. Um, Kubat Pulev, he's one of these guys. I'll have a bit of a seeking out couple of rounds just to see what you got. And he'll throw the jab. It's a very, very effective jab. And, yeah, he's a very good boxer in terms of jabbing and frustrating opponents. He is an awkward fighter. And he's not easy to hit at times. Either Kubat Pulev, he leans back from shots very well and he is a very experienced fighter so this fight isn't a foregone conclusion in my opinion yeah my favor and anthony joshua to win the fight obviously but at the end of the day kubat pulev is a very good boxer and people should give him that respect because if the upset did happen then it wouldn't be the biggest shock ever in boxing because kubat pulev is a good fighter and he only has one blemish in his career and that was against vladimir klitschko in a fight in which he fought not normally how he usually fights. Like against Vladimir Klitschko, he came out with a lot of emotion. Like he was very riled up in that fight. Came out, was swinging, trying to knock Vladimir Klitschko out early. And it backfired on him because he isn't the biggest puncher. Even though he did rock um, Vladimir Klitschko early on in the fight. Vladimir Klitschko managed to throw firepower back and drop him in the first round. And after that, the fight was pretty much done because Kubat Pulev was just hurt. And he was hurt for the rest of the fight until he was knocked out in the fifth round. So, yeah. In this fight, I think against Anthony Joshua, he's going to be a bit more smart, though. He's going to come out. He's going to have a look at Anthony Joshua. Try and be elusive. And try and work the jab on Anthony Joshua. And just be more um, skillful in the fight. And not come out with a lot of emotion. And stick it on Anthony Joshua. Because if he did that, then I think that's going to be a big mistake. And Anthony Joshua is going to take him out early. But I think if um, Kubat Pulev comes out and uses the boxing ability that he has, then this fight could go a few rounds and it could be awkward for Anthony Joshua. So, yeah, I'm interested in this fight. I think it could be an interesting fight. Obviously, I'm picking Anthony Joshua because of the power and the strength and the role that Anthony Joshua is on right now. But I wouldn't be surprised if Kubat Pulev makes this fight awkward. So, yeah, it is what it is. It's JMS Speed Boxing.